Hello Footfeeds. In this interview series, we have our very first guest, Naina Pragya, who recently cleared both CFSO and TO in the AIR rank of 29 and 35 respectively. She is also a student of Footfeeds. So, let's hear her story and how she cleared this examination. So, hi Naina, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. So, uh, heartily congratulations from the food feed. We are really Thank proud you. of you and we are really proud of you and it's such a great, great achievement because it's not easy as it before. Uh, you have beaten 90,000 competition in TO and there are 45,000 plus uh, students in the uh, CFSO. Still you beat and get into the competition and cleared both the CFSO and TO with such a high ranking. So before let me ask you all those questions. I just wanted to ask you a simple question. How do you feel when you see this result? How did your family react and how did you react when the moment you saw the result for the first time? Actually, I was very happy. It was one of my like biggest dreams to get into okay. FSSAI. I tried the last time also, but I couldn't get into it. Like I, okay. uh, in the second round, I got out. So even this time, I just simply applied. I never thought that I would get it, but but yeah. I don't know how to uh, thank God, thank everybody that I got it. <laughs> and it was one of what? my biggest dreams, even for my marriage, I wanted to get into it. So yeah, I was very that's happy. A, yeah, that's a, such a big achievement that, that you have done. It's not easy. Like after you married, with not that simple as it seems. And the competition is not also easy. You have tried for two years of struggle, 20 plus books, 200 plus mocks. Still you got into the, uh, like the precious uh, thing which you have dreamed of. Okay, so before all these things, what was your education and family background? Actually, I, as I said, I'm from Kerala and I did huh. uh, dairy technology, BTEC okay. dairy technology from Kerala Veterinary and Animal Science University. And then okay. I did my post graduation from NDRI, Karnataka, uh, okay. in dairy microbiology. Okay, okay. So you, you are passed out in 2020 or uh, 2019? No, I passed out in uh, 2017. Okay, so you are 2017 NDRA graduate. Okay. Yes. Okay. So first of all, like uh, obviously uh, it is not so easy to study this examination. As we know, there is so much of competition, pressure and so much of things will be there. So how do you face uh, your tough times during this preparation and what is your stress busters during this preparation? Actually my struggle and my strength both are my child. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I am very uh, tense he is there to like, calm me down and he is okay. also the reason when I am not able to uh, like like all the other experience I don't get like all the day to study I have to study yeah. when like I have to hide from him yeah. when he's sleeping only that time I get to study okay so so uh, obviously this is a not an easy job so how do you manage your time like how do you uh, split your time into like as a being mother and as an aspirant like how do you how much time you'll study in a day and how do you prepare these things I think an average four or five hours I have studied for CBT two. For CBT okay. one, there was no such time. <laughs> okay. Whenever he sleeps or whenever somebody else is there to take care of him, I just uh, read something. Or I think mostly it was food feeds itself. Uh, food feeds <laughs> was giving some uh, uh, like um, every evening you would conduct. Yeah, quizzes. yeah. Free quizzes. So I tried to attend that. Yeah. Sometimes okay. I would be able to attend, then I'll leave the <laughs> questions and whichever I didn't know, I just tried okay. to like find the answers yeah. of the other options and all. That's okay. all my preparation for CPT one. And okay. I think I uh, went through some uh, YouTube videos about the general topics, the English, oh, okay, okay. Uh, listening and all that. 
All I did was okay. I would keep earphones when he's sleeping. I would sleep near him and I would hear it. Oh. There was no writing and anything. <laughs> that was all my preparation for CBT one. For CBT two, when I got huh. selected for CBT one, I thought, okay, this is my chance. I won't get a chance in the yeah. future. Yeah. So I decided to join the your course. Could be. Uh, uh, like for CBT two mock course, I joined and all your material only I studied. There was nothing else. <laughs> like I didn't have any other material with me at that at that time. Uh-huh. Like I'd left okay. everything, my studies, my job, everything I had left. So all I had was your material <laughs> and something on you, uh, what you do or net. All that okay, I studied. Okay. Then I did. Uh, you also gave many MCQs, right? Yeah. So I tried to do as much of the MCQs as possible. So that that's a such a like inspiration story. Uh, we never thought that someone can study like uh, during this time and just by putting earphones without writing anything. That is something we should learn. No, I made notes we... from your uh, notes. I made handwritten oh, okay. notes. Oh, okay. Oh, from CB but, from uh, like, starting from CBT two, right? Yeah. Yeah, from CBT two. CBT one was oh. completely listening to YouTube videos and your <laughs> recordings and all that. <laughs> Okay, okay. So that's so great. So my question is, how important uh, is a revision? Uh, uh, what is the importance of revision during an examination? Yeah, revision is very important. Like I, I wrote this exam last previous time also, but at that time I was working and I didn't take all this very seriously. So I just. <laughs> I simply covered a topic and I went for the exam and I didn't get it. Oh. Okay. There were some other factors also like uh, I was not always uh, ready to study like I was pregnant and all that. And then okay. my marriage was just over and all that. But mainly I think it was because I didn't get proper time for revision. But this time yeah you people yeah. had a proper schedule. Like yeah. this week we had to study this much topics and after uh, this yeah. we started revision first revision second revision. and i think because i followed your schedule i was able to like have two revisions before the exam <laughs> okay that that's so great so uh, one more thing so like myself, uh, i don't think i'd be able to do that <laughs> since i didn't you also gave very concise notes like you gave yeah. very large number of materials like reference uh, four or five references you would give but i would be only able to cover the first two but that i think <laughs> that was enough that was the crux of the matter So okay. I read that, and then I did as many MCQs as I could. Yeah. And again, okay. whatever I didn't know, I just referred it. Okay. So for the viewers who don't understand what she's saying, I'll explain it to you. It's called a mind map method. <laughs> Simply, we will give give a mind map where uh, if we select a certain topic, there will be three levels. Uh, the first level is the level one, where it will be easy and with the simple reference one and two. Like all those references we will give is it's from a standard book so that we can claim it at the end if something happens, and the other two levels are uh, somewhat difficulty and it will co- cover a wider range of topic. So based on our knowledge and our understanding, we can go for these three levels using the mind map. So yeah, so that's what uh, the foot feet mind map is, and that's how she got into like uh, studying all those topics and understanding it better. Okay. Naina, how do you evaluate your mark? What is your strategy of evaluating? Because obviously, for each and every topic, we gave you a mark examination. So, how do you evaluate that mark? Eval, I didn't give any evaluation. I just uh, got uh, got through all your answers, and whichever okay. one I didn't know, I just wrote it down. on somewhere so that i could remember uh, read it again okay so uh, the basic thing is uh, whatever for the exam that's all i did okay so that is all that is a good method like i didn't like, feel what... uh, sad whether whatever score i got of course <laughs> yeah. score was a motivation but uh, the uh, marks whichever question i didn't get i would uh, uh, like refer it next time yeah and other points in the, that question so that yeah, i could okay. do it the next time Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is my uh, question to you. What was the uh, one or two tips you can give to the future aspirants 
like uh, who's uh, uh, thinking that CFSO he was uh, job which they wanted to prefer. What is the advice he will give to preparation or any other thing? I would say just go for it. If you are a food or dairy graduate, then most of the topics are familiar to you. So okay. It is like one of the um, better and easier of the options. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Give your heart in it. Don't think that will I get it or will I not get it and go for it. Instead of that, if you're doing something, just put your heart in it and do it. And don't think that you won't get it. Because I, <laughs> just even yeah. if you don't get in the first chance, there are other exams. So just go, yeah. keep going for it. Don't uh, like, don't feel demotivated. <laughs> okay, okay. So one last question. Since you got selected in both CFSO and TO, which is better in on, in, in your opinion, and uh, which side you are you on? Like, which is the course, which is the uh, job which you are going to take it? I'm. I don't know. I've just asked some people, and what they say. Each of them says that uh, like one will be preferring for CFSO and other will be preferring for TO. So I have not decided. I think TO is a more like uh, job uh, like it is, does not involve much traveling, so uh-huh. it is less hectic. Like not in the way <laughs> yeah. the job is less hectic, but uh-huh. there is not much traveling around. Uh-huh. And CFSO is a very powerful job. It is supposed to be a gazetted post, and you have a lot of power. So if you are interested in that, then you can go for that. I myself have not decided yet what I have to do. Okay. So uh, Naina, this is my one last question. So there are two aspects. Like in first, in first, uh, like uh, in the previous two, 2019 examination, you have prepared on your own. Now you have uh, prepared the CPT one and two with good feeds. So uh, would you suggest uh, the upcoming future students? to go to an institution and study or they can go for their general references which they can get it in online for free so which is better in your opinion in your opinion basically uh, i think if you have the time to like uh, prepare your own schedule and uh, like do everything like which which references you have you are covering all that you can do on your own then you can prepare on your own but in my case and i think most of the aspirants are working or studying so they won't have time to do all this so it is better to go to an institution so that some of the work is off our shoulders there is somebody okay. to guide us okay that's all okay so thank you thank you naina such a wonderful uh, wonderful meeting it is and uh, we like to hear more from you in the future and we like your support also your guidance is much more important for the future aspirants so we expect you uh, in the future also so so please guide us throughout this journey and really really happy to be a part of your journey one of the important examinations so all the best for your all these things and one last thing we wanted to show you to you as a surprise that we have made a virtual trophy for you so this specific <laughs> uh, yeah so this is a specific site where we have made a virtual trophy whenever you click the link it will show you a trophy it will not be changed or it will not be deleted and you have only the access to see other from uh, uh, i mean as of from us you are the only person can see it so this is kind of like giving a trophy from our site through virtually so I wanted to share that trophy with you. So thank you, and this is such a uh, great interview. Okay, thank you. And you have anything else you like to say? No, no, nothing much. Okay. So all the best. Just all and, the best uh, for you. You yeah like inspire more people help more people <laughs> to get their dreams yeah thank you thank you so much